Hello and welcome, I'm Pedro Lobo here with another MacTuts Plus Quick Tip. Today I'd like to show you a few small tricks to help you get the best out of Finder. If you think about it, we spend a great deal of time inside this app, yet we don't use it as efficiently as we could. When we want to open a folder for instance, we reach for the mouse, we drag and we click, we drag and click again and again countless times a day. Well, there's a quicker way. We can use keyboard shortcuts. I can type Command Shift F and I'll be taken to all my files, even though it isn't under favorites. Likewise, I can type Command Shift A will take me to the apps, Command Shift D to the desktop, Command Shift O to documents, and so on. Now, don't worry if you don't remember all of these right away. You can view them in the menu under Go and learn them at your own leisurely pace. You'll quickly notice, however, that there aren't any shortcuts for music, pictures, movies, or any of my personal folders for that matter. Not to worry though, a small trick with Automator can help. So let's summon Automator, and we are going to create a new service. The service will receive no input and function in Finder. Now on the left side under Files and Folders, we want to get specified finder items and we're going to add the folder we want to open. I'll choose pictures for now. Then we want to open finder items and that's all there is to it. So save this with a meaningful name. I'll call it my pictures. There you go. Go ahead and quit automator. And now one final step under System Preferences, Keyboard, Keyboard Shortcuts and Services, all the way at the bottom will be the new service we just created. So select it, add a shortcut. I'm going to go with this very simple one right here. And there we go. Now we can type our shortcut. And if all went well, there we go, our pictures. Now. One more shortcut I want to show you. So let's quickly go to the home folder and I can use my arrow keys to move around. But if I type command arrow down, I'll go into a folder. Command arrow up, I'll go up a level. So I can quickly move around using keyboard shortcuts. There is just one more thing that I want to show you that will help you leverage the power of keyboard shortcuts in Automator. So for that, let's go back to the service we created. Click on System Preferences, Keyboard, Keyboard Shortcuts and Services, and go all the way down to the service we created. Right-click and choose Open in Automator. Now, if you have a series of folders and files that you work with on a regular basis and want quick access, you can simply add them here. I'm going to choose maybe documents and a very important file that I work with on a regular basis. Save and quit Automator. Now if all went well, we should have quick access to our important data. There you go. I hope you found these tips useful and thanks for watching.